as a kind of partner for brick and mortar retail, um, offering retail analytics. Uh, we, we have seen before a, a retailer can um, succeed in the transformation and also follow um, his, his consumers and his customers, it's um, elementary and necessary that um, the retailer understands the consumer's behavior. So therefore, um, the, the, the online guys have a, have a huge advantage because everybody of us is very transparent when he's in the online world. So these guys know everything. So they know how often I'm returning, whether I'm a bouncer, so only for some seconds or minutes on their page, um, whether I'm buying or not, whether I arrived via Google. But when we look into brick and mortar retailers, they don't know it. They ask their stuff, they've got a gut feeling, um, they've got some um, experience-based uh, assumptions, but in the end, they don't know exactly how consumer behave. So therefore, um, to, to really succeed in the transformation and also in the um, willingness of consumers to accept new technologies, new features, um, new possibilities, it's all about receiving transparency to learn what worked well and also what failed. And, and therefore, um, we need to, to take advantage of technology um, to understand the consumer, but not to overwhelm the impact of technology because it's just a kind of a, a supporting tool or supporting tools, but it's not all about adding as much technology in your store as possible. It's just that it needs to fit the needs and the expectations of your consumers. And therefore, um, you need to understand your consumers.